class uh, in how to learn Gemara and how to learn Torah and Gemara, which is all one unit as we've been trying to uh, express over these classes. Um, I have this little intro that I've been giving, and basically what what I did, which is outlined here, is just to give an intro of the various ways that the information is compressed in the Torah. And now what I'd like to do is to actually have a, a hands-on uh, um, class on each one of the levels. So the first thing we're going to do is look at, uh, we're, we're going to look at, whoops, where's my thing? You saw that little cute thing I had? Oh, there we go. Uh, I broke <laughs> my pointer. Okay, uh, what I did was I broke this, the the program down into six parts: uh, Torah, Mishnah, Talmud, Rishonim, uh, Shulchan Aruch, and uh, post Shulchan Aruch people. Uh, and Mr. Hashem will do Rosh Hashiva. Uh, also, the, the exercise is supposed to do two things. One, to trace one halacha through the whole system and to see how each system works. And two, to do applications of the learning that we've been doing. Now, the learning we're doing is quite extensive, so we'll just do um, uh, introduce little pieces as we go along. In other words, now we'll just look at the Chumash, we'll try to break it up to the subject predicate part, and as we get into the the Gemara will use the different uh, functions of statements and um, we'll see how it goes. If we can, when we do that, that would be fantastic. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, switch partners and I'm going to put you on, uh, how do we do that? Um, no, it's not. Is keyboard a mouse? Yeah, I have a keyboard. What, what, what no, I need? it says give keyboard a mouse. Do you want me to control the screen? So it give keyboard a mouse. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see your screen with the thing on. I think it'd be easier. Oh, so if I control. If, sure, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I give myself back the control. One second. Yeah, yeah. Take back the control of the thing. Okay. okay. That's me. Okay. Great. You are no longer the presenter. That's okay. All right. Okay. Let me get up. Okay. I have to say, show my screen. Right. Uh, waiting to view on my own screen. Very good. Excellent. Oh, wonderful. Great. Uh, that's fantastic. Okay. So our first activity here. Now this is uh, Shemos, uh, chapter twenty-one, twenty-two, and We'll see uh, why the Goyim broke it up the way they broke it up is their problem. You know, all the numbers and chapters things were from the Goyim when they first published the, <coughs> the printing press and it just kept going. But what I would like to do is um, a beginning activity, which is one, divide the statements up and then we're going to give them, uh, then we're going to divide them into their subjects and predicates and we're going to look at what type of statement it is. Okay, so take the first uh, statement here. What does it say? The Elam Mishpatim. So the, the uh, subject is the Mishpatim, right? And then I would say that the predicate, how should we do this just like this? Asher Tassim is the is the predicate. So we're going to go through yes. the Mishpatim. So let's, let's do it this way to have fun. They do control Z and add a tab after Mishpatim, okay? And then put an enter after Lifnehem. Control Z. Control Z. Yeah, that gets rid of your last. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. So now put go to Lifnehem and just make a, uh, an enter, and then you can after you do that, you can. There we go. And then, whoops, no, you didn't. After Lifnehem. Oh, Control it, Z. Oh, there's no. You want me to separate the process? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. Now, between the subject and predicate, you can put a tab. Okay, great. Okay, now, um, 
functionally, this is a statement. Okay, uh, the, we're not going to see any. Um, uh, we, we will see some calvachones and things. We'll see some discussions, which are back and forth arguments. But here we have basically uh, statements. So what we have to do now is <coughs> um, say what type of subject this is, what type of predicate it is, and what type of statement it is. Okay. So do, can you open that other uh, little document I gave you with the little ones and? Uh, Okay, so the question is, is there a kolo, a prati, or a katsatim? I have to remember what each one is. But yeah, so it's really all some, in, it's all some in particular, or all particular in some here. Okay, it's a categorical statement. Um, yeah, well, yeah, it's a, it's a kolo of, of mishpatim. That's correct, but, it's categorical. Yes, so it's very kolo. good. Now, uh, is it a makayim or a sholel? Makaya means it says is or isn't. Because the thing it is. But it is. It's it is. It's in the, well, over here we put it into the predicate, into the Nasu. It's Asher. Asher is Makayim. It is. Exactly. Now we have to say what type of statement it is. Okay? Now, on the third column, you have a whole list of nice statements you can pick from. Right. All right. Uh, you can maybe, yeah, well, that's great. I think there's a thing called a range, but I don't know. They're in Word also. If you go to View, you can do a range. Oh, you know, there's another, you have Windows 7? Yeah. So if you drag the top of the um, thing and shoot it to, and move it all the way to the left, it'll automatically take up half the screen. You just you know, and drop, 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 shoot it and drop it. And I do the same thing with the other document. This is a, a nice trick to know. This is one of the things that they did. And now drag it all the way to the right. Oops, where'd it go? Yeah. Did you drag it all? Yeah. There we go. Okay. And, oh, it's, isn't that a nice trick? That's a nice trick. Yep. And you can get rid of your navigation, which we don't need, a little X over there. We're going to teach Word here also. Isn't that nice? <laughs> uh, no, on the other side. Uh, it would navigation on the right-hand screen. Navigation. There's a little box there that says navigation, which uh, you don't need. On the on, on the left-hand side, I'm sorry. Oh, this one. Uh, that one, yeah, just exit this way. You can get as much, most, much, much text as possible. And if you hold the control key, uh, click on the right-hand document. Yeah, you can minimize that. You can click on the right-hand document and do control and scroll down. Scroll your scroll your mouse down. It'll minimize it a little. There we go. So you can see the screen now. Isn't that cute? Okay, now we're good. We're all on. Yeah. You see, teach teach you how to do Word also. Okay. Uh, for every day. <laughs> word for every day, right? Who knows where this will lead? You know. <laughs> okay. Now. So we have. <clears throat> so we're going to say that. Okay. okay. So let's go over what the statement the statements are. Okay. Now, stam means a stam statement. It's uh, just like uh, the book is read. Miyuchad means that it's uh, it's it's it adds a uh, unique uh, connection to the subject predicate. Like it definitely is. It's a suffix. It possibly is. In other words, you may you, you may find the subject there. You uh, must find the subject there. Uh, that's what a miyuchad is. A mamayat means uh, uh, only um, only. Uh, okay, this book is only used in the base midrash. That's a mamayat. Okay, right. nowhere else. A motzi is a chutz. Uh, all the people came except for. Uh, Shmuel, uh, a mukbal is uh, I like Paris when it drizzles. When it drizzles is mukbal. It, it it limits the subject. Uh, Tolu is an if then. A maruba is an and or an or. A low ella means not this but that. It's a substitution. And afal p means even though this is here, 
you're still going to have a subject. Which is the reason that you might not, you might give up hope, we're still going to keep up hope. The medab is a compare is a comparison statement, and the is there is is therefore. This is therefore that, okay? As opposed to the um which was if this and that. The Lufikach is a, a statement that this is the result of that. Okay, so that was a very quick, you know, overview. But let's, what what was this, why don't you just translate what the statement means? And I have this big problem because, you know, English, Hebrew, I don't know where we are, and then I have, but where anyway, we're sort of where we are. Okay, what, what does this statement say, by the way? So these are the laws that were set down in front of them. Uh, that you shall place in front of them. Okay, to be exact. Asher Tasim, that you shall place Lifne Hem in front of them, right? Okay, now these, what type of modifier is that? These. Um, of the 11 here. Oh, oh, of, the, of the 11, then it would be a Mamayas. That's correct. Now we'll go down to Rashi. Uh, go scroll down. I have Rashi below. After all this stuff, maybe do page now. Okay. Oh, there's Rashi. There we go. Now read read Rashi. What he says over there. Excludes the Right. You know. Right. But ve'ela. What does it do? The Ela is is inclusive. It says right. that these that I'm going to be mentioning here are included in the set which was already mentioned before. Like just like the ones mentioned before are from Sinai. So to these additional ones are also from Sinai. Right. So it's very important this Rashi, of course, because when you first look at the statement, the word uh, uh Ela, these is a Mamayat. Right. So, what do you mean? These are the laws you should place before them. There are a lot of you know laws happening, uh, uh, and there'll be a lot of more in the future also. So, what do you mean? These are the laws. That's a these and 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 what? So, Rashi Ruch Hashem comes to tell us there's a difference between Ela and the Ela. So, we always have to look, as he said in Baki Gemara, for the stylistic forms of language. And also, he said that in Der Tfunos. every language has its uh, uh, unique formats, uh, and here Rashi is telling us that there's a difference between Ela and the Ela. So, and these are also the laws that you shall place before them. So, what type? When, so now, now, now it 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 turns from a mamaya to what when we say and these. Um, so it would be a low, low Ela. No. No, it's not that, but this. Why not? Because not only, not only these, but these are also from Sinai. Ah, that's how Rashi explains it. But the simple statement says, and these are the laws that you shall place in, for, in front of them. So it doesn't mean not those. It, Rashi, you're, you're right, is explaining it. Don't think it means only these. Right. Uh, but in the, in the end, the statement itself turns from a mamaya to a what? Um, and these are the laws you shall place in front of them. So are you saying that it's including these laws, and these laws are also included? Therefore, very good. Which one? Remember, number? I don't know which one. Number seven. I thought Maruba is something else, though. That's why I didn't say it. Yeah. Maruba is X and Y, this and that. Okay, so it's 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 those and these. You see, but the, the what what the problem is is that what he always tells us in Derek Funos and also in Sefer Yon, which is so uh, important, is that you have to look at the meaning and not at the black and white letters. Okay, right. in other words, the black and white letters. Of course, you have to be medactic in what they do say, or else you can't even start. But there's a meaning that's behind. The statement, and that's what he wants us to get to. Okay, so here it says uh, those, whichever ones they are, and these are 
uh, uh, the laws that you should place in front of them. So it's really no. Now we don't know what the 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 other ones were. I mean, I guess either the ones we got before R C nine or the ones we're going to get after, and we don't know why <laughs> a distinction is made between these and others. Okay, but uh, those are all valid questions. But the act the uh, activity here was very important that we just did because it um, focused us on um, the understanding of this Rashi. Uh -huh. you see, R Rashi is trying to be remember in, in the in the dark in the uh, uh, dark Gemara. He told us that Rashi has uh, uh, seven functions. One is uh, to be nishmami perish acher to prevent you from saying another parish, right? right? So you would you would think that this is a mamayit. Right. Classic mamayit statement and he's saying it doesn't mean mamayit here and he explains to us a distinction between Ava and Ava. Okay? Yep. So this is the type of stuff Bruch Hashem that we're we're going to be gaining from doing this activity. Okay, so let's go back up to the top. Uh control page up. There we go. Oops. Very good. Okay. Now let's do the next ones. So let's put a let's put an enter at the end of the statement and then divide it into its subject and predicate. Okay. Oops. Tab. So we're talking about acquiring an evidence. Every. That's the no say. Mm -hmm. And I was saying about this evidence every, that he works for six years. And in the seventh years, he goes out free. So really, there's two separate, two, um, two separate uh, predicates. Because one is that he's Shesha Miyavod. That's one predicate. Because that's one idea about the evidence every, right? Very good. Then there's another Excellent. one. When you have multiple predicates, what do you call it? Which type of statement? That's also called a meruba. That's correct. That's called a meruba in Yanim. Okay. And this is uh, th these two parts, by the way, are both chidushin. Remember, as a review for meruba in Yanim, meruba in Yanim has a equal and. That means both of them are chidushim, like in this case, that the fact that he has to work six years and the other fact that on the seventh year he goes out free. Uh, the other types were where there's only a chidush one or the other, which is a lozu afzu, a zu, vein srich, marzu. Okay. And the second big category was an or. Okay. And merubinon, you have the ands and the or. So this is a, an a, a merubinon of the and type. Okay. Now, um, yeah. Okay. Now, what about the subject here? Okay. So the subject here is a um, as a pratium because it's dealing specifically with a with an evid ivri. Exactly. When an evid ivri is acquired. Now, this is very interesting. When an evid ivri, and so we're talking about the acquisition of an evid ivri. What I find interesting, which I, I'm just going to throw it out, because how in the next passage it's going to say im, and here it says key. Okay, what's the difference between an im statement and a and a key statement? Are you with me on that one? Right. So key sickness evident. Every key means well, key has different meanings also. So exactly. Right. Over here. How come it didn't say im? Why does it say key? Um. Okay, so let's see. I mean, I'm just throwing it out. I don't know if you. If, you know. I don't know. Not the exact same. Okay, but but. Um, no, Rashi does Now, now usually when. Yeah. When is usually a mukbal statement. Okay, when an ever when an ever degree is acquired. I'm, now I'm saying this stuff emphatically. We're just playing with the terms, you know, to get used to the terms. And but it seems to me that that key in this sense means when, which is a is a is a um, a mukbal, 
right? Like a, I love Paris in the springtime. So when it doesn't mean that uh, <clears throat> in okay, that's about all I can say about it. Whereas an if, oh, let's do the yeah, next thing. Okay. Okay. In the gas, so let's let's stop where it is. Yeah. In the gap, yavo. Mm -hmm. Um, the gapo yitze and bali shahu biyata ayishlemai. So we're talking about over here this evet ivri. So really, the no say is 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 um, really not stated because right. it's really saying that it's really a, it should say when the evet ivri comes in by himself. He goes out by himself, and if the avid is a bal isha, then his wife goes out with him. So it should say somewhere here. So if it would say that um, in my avid every begapo yavo, then I would say avid every is a is a no say. Right? Yes. Well, yes. Yes. Yes, and it's very important so to like, clarify so the no. Sometimes it's sometimes like here it's. Uh, it's it's um, it's clear, but sometimes that no say won't be so clear. Right. Okay. So really. We so. Should. But but what type of statement is this? I gave it away a little before. And the gapo yavo, the gapo yitzay. So the pre so this is the really whole predicate, right? That is the subject. Evidently, is the subject. Well, I don't, you see, because look at the gap, ga, the, the, um, yeah, you would say the gapo is the subject? No, if, you're right, no, im, if he comes in with his, uh, I think gapo is closed, I, no. right? No, it means by himself. Yeah, the English says, if he shall come along, he shall go out alone. Oh, okay, okay. by by himself, begufo, okay. Begufo, right, right. Right. So, you know, is the, if is that is that Rash is going to say that that the Evid could give him an an isha an 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 avad a amok kanan to marry, and he doesn't take her with him the other way around. Right. Um, does that say? Okay, but before we get to Rashi, yeah. I think okay, we should what, put the Evid. Ev we'll get we'll get to Begat uh, just the simple pages. If he comes in by himself unmarried, he goes by himself unmarried, without anybody. Okay. Bali so Shahu, if he is married then his wife does not stay behind and when he goes out she goes out. Okay. So let's let's try to break this up a little. First of all, let's put evidivri after the im. If the evidivri comes in by himself, right? right? Okay. Right. Now every if has what associated with it? Um, if it's if then there's going to be a then. Exactly. So where's the then here? And that's right here. Exactly. So there, there's the then, right? Which is unstated, okay, but it doesn't matter. But that's what it is. Im as, right? It's not switching. Okay, there we go. Oh, good. Very good. Okay, so if the evidence re comes in by himself, then he goes out by himself. Right. You want to make it smaller? Uh, I'll show you some tricks. In if you go and, and expand that little V on the top, there's a there's a oh that makes a super yeah, there's a good cool button. Leave it your way. Or control control bracket makes it smaller. If you pick it and then do control bracket, one makes it bigger and the other bracket makes it smaller. Okay, so there we go. We're good. sure. <laughs> we are teaching Torah with time Word. Read about all these uh, shortcuts. Well, <laughs> I've been I've been using Word for quite a long time. Okay, so if the evidence re, um, and we would have to put the verb in front of it, but we'll leave it the pasuk as it comes in by himself, right? Then we have to have a put a tab there after the. Okay, then excuse me, you're right. Then he again the subject the evidence re will go out by himself, right? Right. Now. So now we have another statement here, you see? Very good. Let's make a new line on that. See, the Gaim, I, I mean, it would be good to look at the Trump here, um, but the Gaim are, are terrible in what they did. You know what I mean? I, I, whoever did this, this hasn't been changed, I don't think, since the time of Gutenberg. 
you know, because everyone got used to the everyone got used to the psukim this way, and the but chapters the this way. Excuse me. The guy didn't make the psukim. No, the way they but they broke it up. No. no? They the yeah they did. Aleph Beit Gimel Dalad. Aleph Beit Gimel Dalad is is really was one two three four in their thing. I think the names the letters no. were. No, because because you have to go by the trump. Exactly. There's a safe pasta. Exactly. And there may be exactly. There's an asnach to him. The gapo. Very good. So it's an asnach. The gapo yetsa is an asnach, which means it's a poor. Right. And Baal Shaul v'yotz ishtein made us under the pasta. There's a safe pasta here. Okay, so now, okay, in so Baal Ishahu, okay, good, it's a safe pasuk. It, you know, it's just loved off, guys. I saw with the, the the numbers of the pasukim and the chapters don't make sense. Like you'll see over chapter, here in this one. But the but the pasukim always, always makes sense. Oh, the, the soap pasuk has to be a soap pasuk. Right. Okay, that has to be there. But whether they follow the soap. I don't know. So that's another thing, but okay, whatever. Okay, well, so here we have. Okay, we'll figure it out. Oops. Is that you or me? Whose computer is overloaded? You or me? No, it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, I'm not doing my computer. Not doing anything. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, no, you're broken up a little, so it could be my, my weakness of my. I tried to close all my things down, but you know how it is. Sometimes you just don't close enough down. Okay, so um, well, my, I'm not actually in dialing into the phone today. I'm 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 trying this out because I've got a new wireless headset to my phone system. So, oh, what did I just do now? Did I just jump out? Where no. are you? I'm still here. Uh, you mean? Oh, there, there we are. Okay, I just didn't you know till we get a mastery of this technology. Okay. So, so if, okay. No, no if problem. The every, so the evidence is going to be the um, the subject. Right. The and it's Gapo. a Tullowy, right? Gapo. Okay. Yeah. Right. It's a Tullowy. Oh, so it's a Tullowy. Which one is Tullowy? Tullowy. Oh, I, Gapo. I, 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 if it's a Gapo, So yeah. Tullowy means if then, which you said, right? Tullowy means if then. And there's always, if is always the condition, right? Um, uh, the the condition. So if he comes in by himself, right, then is always the consequent. Okay. Right. Then he goes out by himself. Okay. Now, how come That's it doesn't say? Excuse me. So the whole nasu is a tully, because the nasu is the gapayav, but then the gapayetzay. Right. This whole part. Well, this. The, yeah. Put a put a tab after. Put a tab after in the gapoyavo. You can. Put a tab after that. My tab's, tab's not working. English, Hebrew, who knows what's going on. No, Just put some spaces there. Yeah, that's good. Just to separate this, the, the, the two parts of the Tullowy, okay? So if the subject, the Eved Ivri, what type of subject is Eved Ivri? An Eved Ivri is a Pratim. Exactly, it's a particular. So if the Eved Ivri comes in by himself, then he will go out, he, he, who, the evident free will go out by himself. Okay, the second statement, uh, the second part of the statement, it's interesting, it doesn't say ve'im in Hebrew, but that's what it means, right? Right. It'd be interesting, I'll have people talk about it. These little differences in diktuk, you know, people make different, you know, knows. Right. But, okay, and if the evident free, okay, And Baal Ishahu. Now we can do the same thing over here. Go the word back. Up. Right. Good. And then we can put the M together with its uh, if the, with the Baal Isha back back to backspace before the Baal Isha. Great. Okay, so there we go with another Tullowy. Exactly, exactly. A beautiful Tullowy. Right. Okay? And uh, it's interesting that the Torah, if it, uh, you have the trap in front of you, um, puts the Sof Pasuk after the Emo. Okay? Right. It's interesting. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, where would you think the Sof Pasuk should be? No, I would have had a Vav. But that's, you don't need a vav. It, that's oh, what it means. 
אם בכפו יבוא בכפו יוצא, ואם בעל האישו הוא, ויוצא אשתו עמו. אה, אז אני 
theoretical work now we're actually seeing in front of us. Okay, so it, it's a it's a uh, if then statement, correct? But it has a maruban um, yanim. Um, um, it has two um, um, uh, two it's parts of the subject with an end. Right. Right. Yes. Well, no, no, no. I well, it's not a subject. In the lo isha, the evidence is still the subject, right? No, the subject is in a case where the evidence has a wife and children. Then what? Then the isha of that will belong to his master. Right, and also again, that's one part. Right. What's the second part of the predicate there? Of the of the excuse me of the um, of the then of the consequent. Exactly. This is number one. This is number right. Two. There's an, another multiple multiple predicate. Uh, in excuse me in in the consequent there's a multiple consequent. Okay, which means that number one. And even that's multiple because the, the the woman and the children belong to the the master right that's number one and number two and he goes out by himself right okay so we have we have uh, two consequences there th that uh, one relating to the the wife and children and two relating to him Right. Very good. Okay. So now let's get to the next statement. Yeah. So here you have the vim. The im Omar yoimar eved a hafti as adeni as ishti as bana. So the subject is if the eved says, "I lost my master, my wife, my children." Again, so it's taloi. And again, right. Prati, because we're talking about the avid every saying, "I love and ask my children." Right. Well, I say, but, not go after you. Now, now, in the in the condition, right? He says three things. Correct. Yeah. What does he say? A hafti. I did a different color blue here. A hafti. You can control Z if you want to. Uh, oh, a different color. Okay, that's fine. I want to find the right color. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, he said three things. I love my master, my wife, and my children. Right. Then he doesn't go out, Kofshi, right? Right. Right now, these three things. Whenever we have now these three things here, um, which he has to say, okay, we were talking about shutafim in Seif Higayon. In Seif Higayon, you have what's called shutafim muhrachim and bilti muhrachim. In other words, does he have to say all three of these things, or can he say just one? What happens if he just says? Uh, I like my master, but I don't like my woman and children, my, 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 my wife and my kids. Or I like my kids and my master, but... Or what if he doesn't have any children? No, we, that, that's the Pasuk before, right? In uh Oh, yeah, you mean what happens if he, if he says, I don't want to go out, and I don't have... What, he doesn't have any children? He doesn't have any children. Well, he, he, his, his master gave him a wife, but he never had, had children. Right, right. So, these are all questions, you know what I mean? You know, but it seems here again that this is a maruvin yanim, and the, 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 there's, there's an and and an or maruvin yanim, okay? An and and an or, which means if he says this or this or this, in other words, if I say he doesn't have kids, and he just says, well, I love my master and my wife, and she doesn't have kids. Right. Does he also go out free, or, or I don't like my wife, but I love my master, my kids. Does right. he also stay in? Okay. Now these type of diukim um, are very, very important. 
you know, in, the, in, in understanding. So here, uh, another another Tullowy, right? And if then, right, right. If the Evid says the following statement, I love my wife, children, and my, and my master wife and children, uh, then the consequent is lo <coughs> yitzay He does not go off free. Well, maybe or could that be? Uh, no, no, no. I think that's part of the statement. Lo eitzay chofshi, not lo yitzay No, no, no. That's not halacha. Oh, he says that. Oh, he says I don't want to go out free. Okay, we're well, right. Yeah. Wow, that's part of the statement. You see, we were right. Right. <laughs> okay. Very good. So that's the whole statement he has to say. That's why I like to put. I put right. quotes in front of the statement and after the statement. Okay. Right. Right. That's one statement. For one second. Him Yomar Evid, yeah, because you'll see, now this is very interesting. Now this is all one big uh, cons uh, one one big if. Right. And yet, and this is why we have to look at the Pasik. Right. Look at the next Pasik. That's the consequence. Then the Higisha then of Al Al Kim Higisha Dalaton Zizavarata Alam. Right. Then the Higisha Adain of Al Kim. This is what happens. So this right. Is predicate. Right, that's all the predicate. Really, we should put this over here and this is like that. Right. Right. That's all one long predicate. Now, also, it's a Marubin Yanim again. Look what the master has to do, right? Break that up. Yeah. This is Yigisha Adam is number one. Right. Yeah, just you can put an enter, I guess. Or well, anyway, whatever. Okay, good. What would I? Oops, you deleted something there. Uh, something's going on with that bug. Oh, I know because you have them in the food list there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the have to get rid of the. Okay. One to get done in all the Number two is the Gisha El Dallas. That's one. That's one of the quirky things in Microsoft Word, but the. Two, yeah. I'll, I'll, and then the next one is number three. So number one is he has to take him to the bezin. Number two is he has to bring him to the door, or to the mezuzah. I don't know why I say or or. No, he has to exactly. <laughs> why the you see? And now because we said there's two types of marub and yonim. There's an and and an or. Why is this an or? You mean you could either, either the door or the mezuzah? Right. How do you do that? Usually the door. <laughs> it should say the door and the mezuzah. Does Rashi talk about? It? I mean, again, when, when we now when when you do this, you now you look at the mafoshim and then they're going to talk because they're reading the same text you and I are reading. That's the that's the key to it. And now, of course, they have a whole lot of background that they know that we don't know. But when it comes to reading the text itself, <coughs> they're reading it too. And they just know who talks about it and where it's spoken about. But there's a problem here. Right. So okay. the fact tells you that we dash in from this passage that the doorpost has to be upright. And so too the door has to be upright. Those How do they do that? Door, door that's laying down. The door has to be upright. That's why it's I I I on the L Dallas L is down. Strange Jewish, we have to understand what rule that does. I mean, you know, like how do they get to that? We need more explanation on that. Okay. Whoops. That's yeah, what she says. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. Uh, uh here it is. Right, so it says in the environment has to be a Dallas and Adam Mizuzah. So why does there be a Mizuzah? I'm not Tamil, I'm not oil Mizuzah. Hikesh Dallas Mizuzah, not Mizuzah Mu'umit, not Dallas Mu'umit. Okay, so we have to get into this whole. Dallas, 
not the mezuzah, but it has to be like the mezuzah, which is the Omer. Kvaltik. Okay, again, you see... Yeah, one second, but now that the thing is, now, once you go with Rashi Tzad in the Pasuk, so what kind of, of predicate is it? It's really a, a predicate, now you have to just read the predicate thing, the Yishe El Adeles, and put in parentheses El Mezuzah, because it's really not a, anymore a Merubah um, in... in the exactly. It, it, it's, it's, exactly. It's really, it's really the El the Mezuzah is telling you, it's really saying, the Yishai El Adeles Shehuma Umar. So it, it, it uh, yeah, so now that would be our work. I mean, we have to spend a lot of time understanding what the Jewish is and how to recast the statement. But there's another point here that when there's a flag in the statement, okay, so then that's a, that's a sign for a, for a drush. But we have to, you know, we have to go slowly and do all that. But okay, very good. But you see, by doing this little activity, we're forcing ourselves to say, wait a minute, some two and two is not four. And Baruch Hashem Rashi helps us out. Okay? So there we go. Vagisha as Hadelet, O Amazuzah. And now we have a vav. So we said uh, one was a gishu. Uh, you got, you got to go to the to the judges. Two, you have to uh, bring him to the door. A gishu, we bring him to the door. And three, varatsa adonav el oznov. Then you have to put the all in his ear, bemarched with an all. Ve avdololam then becomes a slave. So if you do that, so where is the then here? You see, where's the then here? It's the vav in the What? The vav in the Let you see. Yeah, Megisha. What's the relationship of the avdololam? That's a second. That's a that's a multiple predicate. In other words. Not only do you have to do this whole activity, but it's also uh, the result here is also right, right. And the also is an evident all them. Okay, very very good. Okay, so let's keep going. You know, we're, we're not we're not you know doing rocket science, but we're slowly slowly getting to understand what's going on here. Okay. Now is a whole new. Uh, Topic. So that is the subject. That of a man or as a maid servant. She does not go out as the other slaves go out. Right. Now you say um, one of the important things that they, they mentioned both in, in, in Dr. Gamara and also in Interfunos is the Kesher, the 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 um, the link between what went before and what comes now. Okay, so here, if if there's if the kesher is problematic, like Rashi in the first one, you see, when he said ve'elu mishpatim, Rashi also talks about the kesher, right? He wants to know what came before this. Oops, what came before this? Uh, what does he say there in that Rashi? I forgot. In the first one. Oh, why? Why nismach? Why is this nismach? To, to the mizbeach. Now, in the first one, ve'elam mishpatim, he wants to know what's the connection between this subject and the subject that came before, which was the mizbeach. Okay, so you see that's an important rule. We're trying to bring all these rules to our conscious mind. So one of the rules is that there has to be a connection between A and B. The subjects don't randomly change. Okay, so Rashi was bothered, <coughs> uh, what does this have to do with Mizbeach? You know, the Mishpatim, why is it here? And then he answers, uh, again, a Drush, that the, it's a, to tell us a din in, 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 uh, in Sanhedrin. Here, however, the connection is not a startling. Why? What's the difference between what went before and and this no say? Well, the the the, the connection is because there's a key sikna evidentiary and ki imkar ish is both the same issue is where somebody is selling 
themselves for money to another individual, or they're selling their daughter to somebody else for money. Right, right, right. So now we're talking exactly. about right. the, exactly. the, the, actually it's not the seller here. In the first one, so it was the buyer, the right? Signa, right. So you require, what it, why doesn't it say, so then you could ask, why doesn't it say, ki yimkar ish es atzmo le'evet ivri? And the answer probably is, is because there are multiple reasons or ways that a person can be sold for an evit ivri. In other words, he could sell himself, or Bezna could sell him because he stole. Oh, so which brings out another question that I didn't ask. What is the connection between the first statement, Elam Mishpatim, and Ki Titne Ebed Ivri? Well, these are the Mishpatim. I don't know. Why does that have to be a connection? We're giving an introduction to rules. Now, now but Mishpatim. what are Mishpatim? Now we have to ask ourselves, what are Mishpatim? Mishpatim are laws that, that, um, that we live by. Uh, what's the difference between Mishpatim, Chukim, and Mitzvahs? So mishpatim are laws that, that if one would sit down and think about them, as long as you don't live in the year 2012, you could figure them out yourself. <laughs> Let's look at Rashi over there in the first Anayla Mishpatim. What does he say? So Rashi says, yeah, let's go down, let's go down to Rashi. You're right. Not as clear as it should be, but okay, the Chumash is easy. Lefnei him below, lefnei gayim. Rafila yedat the bedin echad. Shehim Dan and Isaac Kadina Yisrael, Altavi Ba'al Kari Shalahem. In other words, even if you know that the Adin is the Sassel of Lefnehem, he's really going. He's not going on Mishpatim. All right, there he's on, Mish you're right, Lefnehem. He's going on Lefnehem. He doesn't really discuss Mishpatim here. One second. Of course, the next Rashi, which talks about um, Tarsim, is just talking about review. Right, so Rashi says, Kitikna Eved Ivri, Eved Shal 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 Ivri, Eved Okay, now he wants to know what type of uh, Eved Ivri, because he, he says, right. Eved Shahu, if he changes that to Eved Shahu Ivri, because right. an Eved Ivri could mean uh, any Eved that a, 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 a Jew has. So Rashi says, no, it means Eved Shahu Ivri. Right. Right. But don't read a key sick Don't read a key sickness if a Jew buys an Evid. Don't read a key sickness every Evid if a Jew buys an Evid. Right? Read it in right. every if you buy an Evid Shahu every. Now we right. go, how do you know that it means that and not the other? He says, I ain't a Ella Avdai Shal Ivri. Maybe that's what it means. Which which would translate to mean that Ebed Kanani Shalakachem Yisrael, which is an Ebed Kanani who was bought from a Yisrael, which is mm -hmm. that in, because you're buying, right, you're buying an Ebed that belongs to another Jew. Uh, 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 that's exactly. That's to say, Sheshanam Yavayd. Umani Mekam, Mishmachaltam Oysam, Lukach Minagai. And then what would you say about the words, Mishmachaltam Oysam, if it's uh, talking about Lukach Minagai? I will call from Israel, you have to be changed. Maybe there would be a whole new concept that would be a, a, a difference between buying a Eved from a Jew or buying an Eved from a guy. Buying a Jew for an Eved from a Jew will go out after six years and buying from a guy will be inherited to your children. Right. You know that's not the case. Tom and Leimer, ki yimkar lach achicha ivri. Oh, that's in Devarim. Right, so in Devarim it says, ki yimkar lach achicha ivri. If it is sold to you, your brother who is an Ivri, so we see that there is this idea that a brother of yours can be sold to you. So just like over there, it's discussing that din, which is sheish, babot sheish. So we see that the concept of sheish is only applicable to a eved that is a Jew and not an eved that was bought from a Jew. Right. So that's how we know yeah. over here, too, because the din. In other words, the, the indicator here is the din. That is going to indicate to us what the evidence is, who the evidence is. 
Right. So, and also we have to just point out here that there's what's in front of us and what's linked to other pasukim. So Rashi, of course, knows the, the links, so we can, he can make that lean uh, with force. But the next one, it says, Ki tikne. Right? That's the one I wanted to see. Oh, Ki tikne. Mi ad bezdin shemachru de gnei vasai. So what does it mean, Ki tikne? Well, you are from bezdin. Come on, Shanama. In the name of the name of the gnei vasai. Oi, ene, el, abamecha, atman, the gnei vasai. Or maybe we're only talking about it if he was sold because he was having a rough time and he didn't have money. Mm-hmm. Bezdin lo yeh tzim b'sheish. So because it's another Pasuk later on um, in Vayikra, that says that we're talking about over there where a person is poor and therefore he sells himself to get money. So over right. here must be talking about where Bezin sells and not where he sells himself. Right, beautiful. Now, and that's another one of our rules from Gemara, that everything has to be a Kiddush. It was mentioned somewhere right. else, a Svarach Yitzona, so this has to come to teach us another Kiddush. Right. Okay? Very good. Now, I, I really made a mistake myself, but I wanted to say that if we're talking here about, if we're talking here about, we're talking about here about Mochru Beistin, right? Okay, she says. Now, right? Yeah. now we can understand why it's in Mishpatim. Because Mishpatim means a Shofet, means that there is a that there's dinim here. It's a, it's a, in other words, a person stole, and uh, he doesn't have money to pay back, right, and whatever, and the basin is selling him. So that's that that's what I wanted to say. What? That doesn't work for kiyum karishas bita lama. You're right, right. So now, but we're going to have to say, oh, that's anyway a question. How come we moved from mocher basin to the to the av? to the Abba. Why? Well, because at the end of the statement says, Lo teitze ketese avodim. Now, which type of avodim we're talking about? We, we, we don't... Right, so the avodim so, we're talking about is, is talking about also in, in, in evidence. No, what uh, does it mean? No, like? no, but Rashi says, not like that. Rashi says, oh. Rashi says, now it's talking about ketese avodim, like avodim kananiyam, go out with shen and ayin. But we weren't talking about a Kanani. Right. We weren't okay. talking about a Kanani. So why would you so think we, why would you think she has a dinner and goes out like a Kanani? And how does a Kanani go out? <laughs> Kanani goes oh. out to Well Kanani goes out with Shane Ryan. Oh well let's well, let's read the Pasak. But anyway, we see this type of <laughs> this type of a beginning investigation then makes us sensitive to what people are going to talk about. That's the whole activity here, okay? But uh, and then the rules that we did, we said, wait, there has to be a connection between this subject and the next. So it definitely is talking about a nivri, but now we have a complication because that was talking about a mocha basin, and this is talking about um, uh, all. So, but this is talking about a sub, uh, a husband, okay? And, excuse me, the the, the father. But in the end, the daughter is also going to be an, uh, uh, an ama, right? Which is a female. In other words, she's also an ebedivri. She's an ebedivri. So, right? so what we did is we switched the the poel, right? Before the poel was a, was a Jew, a regular Jew who who uh, who bought a uh, ebedivri, and now we're talking about the father. Uh, excuse me. Let's say it better. The it says when you shall acquire. So the 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 evidence re was acquired. What does that mean? That was the passive, right? Kistik and evidence. The evidence was acquired. The passive is because it doesn't mention that that the action of the bezin selling him. Maybe the maybe tik evidence is when you acquire an evidence re, and the subject is um, a man, a ish, a Jew. When a Jew acquires an evidence right. Right, uh, and in the article okay. they translate it that way, when you will buy a Hebrew servant. No, you see, so they put in a subject. This is really, the, the, the subject is not evidivery, really, in the first one. The subject is, right. is you, the Jewish person, buying an evidivery, right? And now, Hashem, we did that because now we're going to switch the subject from a simple person, you know, an ish, 
to a father. That's a new relationship, and it's a a um, and actually we just said even even deeper. Now it's really talking about when the base then sells you inevitably. Right, according we have to put all that in. So it's really talking about the base then selling inevitably. And now we're talking about the father selling an evit. In other words, you know, okay, right. it's, all, it's all part of the clarity. In other words, who is the poel? Who is, who is the subject here? Who is the subject? Okay, what is the subject doing? And who is the nifal? Who is the, the result? So in the first the subject was the, the, the based in, and it's all not written. And this is all stuff that you have to put in when you recast the sentence into its real meaning. So the real whole sentence says, when, a, when, when the base din, when you acquire a, a evid from the base din, or when the base din sells you an evid, then you have these following laws. Now, right. when the father sells his daughter to be an evid, then you have a different set of laws. Right. Okay? Very good. Okay. Let's go right though. So what's her set of laws? Okay. So Lotate first, say. The first one is Lotate say that, and then we, we asked ourselves, oh, and the Gemara, the, 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 the Chumash is going to explain. Well, the Gemara is not going to explain, it's going to say another no, the, 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 Well, well it, I think this is well, what I'll it means, Lotate. Isn't this a parish of Lotate say, could, could say Salvatim? I know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Well, well let's break it up. Not according to Rashi. What? Im, im Rabbe Beine Adonai Hashi Lotate. So she doesn't go out like other slaves. Now you could either say that the the imra'a be'inia de'neha asher lo ye adav vehefta is not an explanation like this because it's avadim. It's just explaining her terms of avdus. Right. Imra'a be. Let's say. So what is let's 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 translate the words imra'a be'inia de'neha. If she is, um, Oxbow calls it displeasing. Ve'ne adinha in the eyes of her master. Asher lo ye adav. Um, and he did not ya'ada, so they say designate her for himself, it means marry her, then the hefta, he has to go and redeem her. So that's a different idea of let's say to Kutay Sa'avadim. Let's say to Kutay Sa'avadim, if you knew how Avadim would go out, you would know she doesn't go out like Avadim. And Ra'abin Adel does not explain how other Avadim go out. This is some well, what's the end of the statement? You cannot be sold to an Amnachri. Because this is a betrayal, they say, the words of the title. Right. Right. It's a so, whole idea. Uh, well, the, the, well, again, there's things we have to talk about, but Lechara, I mean, can you say, well, if we're talking about an Everett Free, you can't be sold to a guy either, right? Right? And Ebed Ivri cannot be sold to a guy. Why not? I don't know. Maybe he can. I don't know either. Maybe, maybe he can. Maybe he can. I don't know what the din is. But if that's true, if he could be sold to a guy, then it, then it should it should then we can understand why this is low. Tate say could say Sabadim of the one we just mentioned. Well, or, so let's say could say Sabadim. If we go back to the to the Daki Gemara, which is to try to figure what the Pshat is without Rashi, right? You would yes. prob I would probably say the simple meaning is we just discussed in the prior pasuk that an evid every goes out to sheishanim, right? Um, yes. It says sheishanim yavad rashvi yatzil chav shechinam. That's the only means of of escape that we mentioned so far, right? So you would say, like say take it to the that she doesn't go out to sheish. That's what I would have thought. And Rashi doesn't say that that's shot. Rashi says, Rashi says um, that uh, she doesn't go b'shem v'ayin. Ha! Huh. Who was speaking about Shane v'ayin? So, by I mean, so, but this is a right to you that this im 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 ra'a be'ne'a. Uh, excuse me, lo yim shol lo mocha. Excuse me, la uh, lam nachri lo yim shol is not the tzeisin zavadim. It's another din. Right, right. That's, wow. Okay. 
Beseda. Again, outside information, there's no way to know it from the Pusik. All we know it says Rashi asked my question. See that? I said yeah, that if I, if I was going to write the Purish on the Pusik without Rashi, I would have said that he's talking about Shesh. So Rashi asks, Are you any other way say take it say so of other Shesh of the Yaido? Beautiful. Maybe Why? Because because that and, and the reason is because we just were speaking about right. that. Right. So therefore it says Tamil Lima ki macha lacha achiso ha ivri ay ha ivriya, which is in the varim. So there's another pasuk in the varim saying ain achinami. The words here itself probably should indicate that that she should not go out to the But we have another pasuk in the varim. Parak kazvav pasuk yedbeis. It says makish ivriya le ivri lecholi yitzir sah. My Ivriya to Bishesh of Yevo, Af Ivriya Yetzu Bishesh of Yevo. So there's a special postic that tells you to a Hekish of Ivri to Ivriya that she doesn't go out, so that she does go out Bishesh of Yevo just like an Ivri. Wonderful. So there, what am I then going to make that she shouldn't go out like a Vadim? So Rashi says, must be. That another way that a Vadim go out, which is an Evid Kanani, which is Shane Rahim. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, this is the proper way to learn, you know. Right. Because when you do this, you see, and you start thinking, like, you know, use the word taich. And when, when kids learn in cheder, so the Rebbe tells it what it means, and he puts it in his head. Right? Right. Which is good, because I guess, you know, you want the kids to know a uh, basic meaning of the text. But as you get older, when you get older, you shouldn't keep that same type of uh, system. Right. You have to have consciously read the text yourself, see what it's saying. It's so right. important. Read and see what it says. And if it does, if it says something strange, so then you already have a key, my kamash Milan. But what is it coming to teach me? You see, and then it's beautiful. And then also, what you gain by this step is you in places where people don't talk, you know that you have to say something. Uh, and uh, and when people do talk, you know what they're talking about. So it's you gain in all sides. Okay, so let's go a little further. Okay, one second. How do we create hyperlinks from the Sukkum down to the Russian? Oh what you have to do is you have to make yeah what you have to do is make a bookmark. Okay. you you do uh, insert bookmark. Well, first of all, you highlight what you want to bookmark, right? What do you want to What do you want to highlight? I highlight what I want to bookmark. Let's say I want to go from. Um, uh, yeah, you want to go from the text to. Oh, the right. So we want to go from the text to here. Kim Karas Bita La Amma. Here, um, where's the? My Facebook says a button. Here it is. I want to just bookmark. Let's say from that. We'd be happy to be doing this. Okay, so just uh, just uh, smear that, then do insert uh, insert the second tab on top. No, no, there, right? Then then bookmark is the like fourth one over. Hit bookmark, right? Now give it a name. Just type a little name with no spaces, just an indicator. Whatever, just you know. Okay, but you can't have any spaces, so you have to get rid of those spaces. Instead of a space, you can you, you can. Um, did you, did you, uh, whoops, okay, bookmark, okay, there we go, paste. Now you can get rid of the spaces or just make it less spaces, good, very good. Okay, and when you do it right, it says add on the right-hand button, do add. Now go up to the place where you want to link to. And that was right over here. Okay, so now underline it and do insert a hyperlink up there. Oh. And then it should have right. And then say, then say no. Brow in the document. Where does it say? Place the all the way on the left. It says place in the document. Place. Yeah. Click on place in the document. And there we go. Ah, very And now control, link, control, click, and you're there. Beautiful. Control, click. <laughs> now, now you have to make a backlink. Okay, but we're not gonna. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. okay, so we're learning Torah and Word together. Fantastic. We have to advertise this, you know, that when you learn that course, you're not only going to learn Torah, but you're also going to learn Word. Fantastic. The only thing is now it changes it to a funny color. Yeah, that's because it's a link. I know, you can't but afford it. You, you can get rid of that also. You can get rid of that also, but don't do it now. <laughs> it's a, 
I think if you remove the formatting or something, you can get rid of it. But that's a whole other thing. But only when you click it does it change the color. Normally it doesn't. Right. Oops, you you did a back instead of the <laughs> control Z's. When you get crazy, control Z. Okay. Beseda, whatever, not not important. <laughs> Let's go back to the back. Right. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Let's do the next one. So Kim Karish has Bito. Okay. La Ama. So Kim Karish has Bito. So the subject is What, what happened? Oh, that's an under, you're stuck on underline. You're stuck on a uh, highlight. So click the highlight button. Where is that? Uh, I'm not there anymore. I got oh, you're not there. Good. Very good. Good. Now, key core. As Bita la Amma. So the subject is a man who sells his daughter for an Amma. What kind of subject? Right. Is the right. subject is a Because talking about a man right. selling his daughter. Right. right. So the but subject. They, they saw right. them. So this is a, a, um, um, in my age, yes. That this is not like to say Salvador, right? Right. Actually, it's a, it's a sholel here. You see, remember we had a Makaim and a sholel. Makaim says. Uh, you mean it was in Mamayit there was Makaim and sholel? Yeah. One second. Kim ko isha spito la ama. Lo yetsa. He she shall not go out. Right. He shall not send her out like the Avadim, okay? Right. right. So that's really a it's, that's a, that's a sholel. The the uh, but you know you know again we have to be very careful here because because um, oh wow you're getting really sophisticated here now wow <laughs> okay. Very good. Um, um, what was I going to say here? Kim ko isha spito la ama. When a man shall send his sell his daughter to be a ama, lo tate se could say So is that a mamayit? Let's see. I have I have the the achtunas around me. Um, no, no. This is this is not a mamai. This is this is talking about the kesher. So we're saying that she it cannot go out like the other avadim. So it's exclusive. It's excluding her from the category of Yitzia of other Avadim. So which one is it? Okay, I'm, I'm thinking myself. Motzi? What is Motzi? Motzi. Motzi is the next one. Sheyotzi hanasi mekzas ima shenechol benosi b'mayim rahu. Derek Marshall. Hakol shechetin uchshchitas mekshera. Chut necheroshay to bekatan. So that's saying that in that case, the Yavachol Shachatin, you're saying everybody could check, and it's saying everybody could check except for Chesha de Bukhatin. So you're saying that there's a claw of Shachatin. So, but this is not the same thing as that. No, it's not. No, no. First of all, it's a Madama, right? Because it says, she shall not go out like the going outs of the Avadam, right? That's right. a Madama. And it's saying, it's it's a I, I think it just is it's the it's a show level. I mean it's just simple the simple show is, is part of my is, uh, No, it's not real show level is a type of my you're right, but it as far as this what is the relationship to the subject to the predicate, it's not a Makayim, it's a show level. Uh this oh, I mean that that it's a show level, right, right, okay. In the middle one. That's what I meant, that that's show level. Right. 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 We're saying uh we we are we are saying she doesn't go out like the avadim, right? The 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 Mikhaim is she does go out like an avadim, right? Right, right. So it's the the we're den, we're we're denying we're sholel the predicate, uh, but also we see it's a madame, right? And our whole problem was what was the dimyon, but that's another problem. What was the dimyon? And Rashi says it couldn't be, you know, again, the sheet that might come out from because we know it already that, that she doesn't get six years and all that, so it has to come to a new chips. It's all other stuff. But simply, it's, uh, it's uh, yes, it's just uh, she does not go out 
it's a um, it's a simple uh, the the cashier there is is a shallow is negative. Right, and, and okay. enough to therefore is in my mind. Do you agree with that, right? Um, My, um, I, well, let me I have to example think. in the example in the in, in the um dark twin it says who levado ye Yeah, it, alone. You see a usually means it alone. So this is not really it's you see this is but show I think it's a little there's a heterosia of only Eichel Nefesh, but nothing else. There's no heterosia for any other malacha on yamtif except for eichel nefesh. That's the that's the. So so when you reduce it and there's nothing left, that's not a mamayim. I'm saying no, no, I'm no, no. no. It's, I, it's I true. Tell my wife, and she could go out. When 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 I'm, let's say I say I cannot go out like like an evet. Let 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 me let, let let's let let me see if I can uh, work it out with you. If I say this book is not read, right? Right. So and so really, it's a simple it's a simple statement. This book, and I'm denying read from the book, right? right? Now it's true that whenever I deny read from the book, I'm, I'm it's always uh, it's always uh, um, it's always saying it's always mamayit because mamayit read, right? But but um, and that's why it's called a shodel, but. Uh, a mamaya usually means that I say this and only this, which means you might. Die. It's a difference in the havamina. The havamina would be that that in a mamaya is that this should be in the group, or there should be other things in the group. I say this is the only thing in the group. Okay. I say this is the only thing in the group. It usually means right. It's the only thing in the group. That's the key word to remember: is only. It's the only thing in the group. That would be a moat. No, a motzi means it starts. It's a, a very good. The motzi is slightly different, only because how it starts. The motzi starts with the group, and then tells you what's excluded. The mamayit just tells you this is the only thing, and then you have to figure out, of course, what are the things you would have thought. Of. So it's really right. like in the. Why does it might have to be? It's the only thing. Because of that example that he gives, he just says. The no, even when he said, hey, I said, 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 I this would be a a um I a I said, 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 I uh -huh. See, I say something is red or something is not red. That's a question of the catcher. But I, if I say it's only red, right? So I mean, it means it's it's red and nothing else. Is the difference between de denying the predicate to the subject? This book is not red, or saying this book is only red. Then, then. What I'm doing is, first of all, I'm making the fact that it's red. But when I say only red, I'm eliminating all of the colors. Right. So it's a it's a it's a subtle difference between the between the kesher and the type of predication. Are you with me? The kesher means is or is not. That means the predicate is going to be found or not found in the subject, and the type of predication, like a mamayit, says this and nothing else. It, it eliminates every. It eliminates all other things from the predicate. I don't know if I'm making it myself clear. But the difference, that's the difference between the kesher and the type of predication. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm saying she 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 doesn't go out like the other avodim, or she does go out the avodim. That's that's the kesher. That's called mekayim Mashola. Okay, so then it would be a merubah. Right. It's not. First of all, it's a simple statement. The negative. Why? No, no. It's a simple statement. It only says one thing here. It says, uh, "It says this woman does not go out like Avadim." Say it's a stam. It's a stam statement, and it's a sholel. It says this woman does not go out like uh, the other Avadim. However, again, it's multiple because it, it it's a medama. What is a medama? It's a comparative. She doesn't go out like Avadim. Right. Okay. 
So that's a comparative. And then we had to go through this whole Rashi to find out what the comparison is. So it's really a Stam statement, which has a, com a, com uh, a comparative predicate. Right. Actually, I, I wouldn't even say that. I would say it's really, uh, yes, it's a Sholel. If I would really label it now, I'd say it's a Sholel. Uh, it's a Sholel is the Kesher, and I would say it's Madama. It's a negative comparison. It's Sholel, that's the Kesher. Don't go out. And it's a comparison, like the Yavadim. So which one she does one? not go out like the Yavadim. So it's, the she does not go out. Right? She does not go out. And it, we have to add to it, there's a, there's a, a comparison to Avodim. So it's... it's so then, uh, then you say it would be Madama. Because the yes, day, exactly. Exactly. Right. Right, so she does not go out like another known subject. What's the other known subject? The Yavadim. We're supposed to know how the Yavadim go out. And all we're doing is Sholel, that Dimyan, from her. So it's a Madame, right? There's no question it's a Madame here. But the type of Kesher is called a Sholel. You see, the Kesher means is or is not. So here it's not. So she's not comparable to the, she is not comparable to the Avadam. Right. Okay. And in the middle there, which is the Kesher, Lo Yotze is the Kesher. That's the middle box. So it's a Sholel. You hear the difference? You have the yep. subject, if you're Mekayim or not, and then what type. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, so we're, gonna, we're going to stop here, stop. right? Okay, great. Now, what I would like you to do, um, r really, yeah, we're going to do this uh, another time. If you do have some time, Bez Hashem, do this, um, d do the whole paragraph here in the next one. What do I really want to get to? I really want to get to Metav, okay? The Pusik and Metav, yeah, which goes sorry. down later on. Okay, and that's the one that we're going, but I want you to do the whole Pula, more or less. I mean, you don't have to do it, to, but at least break it up to the to the statements and the subjects and the predicates. Okay, and we'll do another class on this. Uh, yeah, exactly. And it's it's very, very, very important when you start seeing this. And uh, and then when we get to this Pusik of, of Metav and the Pusik of Yashiv, will be have a very strong foundation for the next move in the Gemara. Right. And uh, that's really going to be the whole no say here. The no say is going to be Kesev, Metav, and Shavu Kesev, and how they interrelate. But we have to start with a firm foundation, be very observant, and then see how each step, and that was the whole activity here, if we can do it best with Hashem, to show how each step impacts the information and modifies the message until it's clear as a Kodesh Baruch who said it. We only want to know what Hashem said. We don't want to pervert his message. But it, what's, what's said here is sophisticated, like we just learned over here in just a few steps. So we can't be uh, simple, but we have to be methodical and go from step to step and see what forces uh, each step and what's new in each step. And Bezut Hashem will go down the tree. Okay, have a great day. Okay, you too. And it was a pleasure. We'll, we'll do this again next week, okay? Because it's good to have practice in it. Yep. Okay, Lena, call to. Okay, very good.